Hi everyone, it's Miss Jen from the Lewis Public Library. Today, I'm going to read you a book called It's Only One by Tracy Corroy, illustrated by Tony Neal. Here we go. Sunnyville was perfect. Friendly and fun, it twinkled with total loveliness. But then, without thinking, Rhino did this. What? It's only one. But it wasn't. Soon everybody was throwing their garbage on the ground. Giraffe was not happy. Who wants to look at garbage? So he did this. Can you see what he's doing? Picking a flower right out of the park. What? It's only one, but of course, it wasn't. Now, can you see what everyone is doing? Everyone is picking a flower. Penguin was fuming. I loved those flowers. But some music might cheer things up. What? Too noisy? It's only one song. Wrong again. Mouse couldn't believe her ears. This was simply awful. Oh, noisy for everyone. Sunnyville had lost its twinkle completely. Now everyone was grumpy. Then Mouse had an idea. So, she did this. What do you see her doing? She planted a flower, right? It was only one, but, oh gosh, oh look, a flower. It smelled just like the Sunnyvale they all remembered. Now, Rhino knew exactly what to do. And wrapper by wrapper, and flower by flower. Sunnyville soon twinkled brighter than ever. And everyone loved it. The end. That is called It's Only One by Tracy Corduroy, illustrated by Tony Neal. I'm really glad that I could share that book with you today. Everyone can make a difference in what they do in their community and their environment. I'll look forward to reading you another book again soon. Have a great day.